So we're, we're very happy with the bond that the judge said. I think it's fair and reasonable given the allegations. We hope that uh, Mr. Kelly's able to get the money together and post bond sometime today or over the weekend and he'll be released. He's, you know, he's devastated. Here is someone who, who at one point was a huge star and, and now he's sitting behind bars. Even if it's just for a day, he's got these accusations. He's not gonna be able to tour. Um, and, and people, unfortunately, you know, there's this, this whole hashtag movement. Just because someone says something now and it's 2019, it doesn't make them credible. And, and just because they said something now and they haven't said something in a long time, it doesn't necessarily make them incredible. We have to look at the evidence. We have to look at what happened. I know on, on one of the cases, there, there are a number of interviews where the young lady says, I lied about how old I was. I lied to him about how old I was. And then recently said, oh no, I lied about lying about how old he was. We'll no, have no, to look at it. Him the ID, the fake ID that showed him the real ID. Don't misquote a victim, Mr. Greenberg. Don't misquote a victim. That's not what she said. Well, she initially lied to him. Then she showed him a state ID. She was here today. Did you see her in tears while the charges were read? So, so you have a book coming out, and yeah, I hope you sell. I hope you sell lots of books. I don't give a f about selling a single book. I've talked to that woman, and I've talked to forty. What else is others. your question? I'm not Mr. Avenatti, and I'm not you. Okay, so let's try and keep it professional, and don't and don't swear at me. Cried in court, a liar. Well, just because they cry doesn't make them truthful. I said we're going to look at the evidence. Okay, we'll look at the evidence, and we'll we'll look at the evidence. Let's keep it. Let's watch. Let's watch the swearing. Okay. I'm sorry. You're upsetting his behavior.